Welcome to MVC questions and answers video series. In this video, we will be talking about ASP.NET Web API. To make the video short and simple, we have divided it into two sections. In the first section, we will try to answer what is ASP.NET Web API and why it is there. And in the second section, we will make a practical demonstration and try to understand it better. Before we dig into ASP.NET Web API, let's talk about web services and WCF services. Web services and WCF services are SOAP based services and they use HTTP as the transport level protocol. That means they use HTTP just to tunnel the SOAP messages across the internet. But all clients are not that suitable to handle SOAP messages because SOAP messages are internally or they are XML and handling SOAP messages means handling an XML which might be a tedious and complicated task for some clients and our best example for non soap based client may be jQuery now to overcome this problem sometime after the release of WCF WCF development community came up with something called as WCF rest now if you are completely new to this word rest then it's my strong advice please go through the video created in the WCF questions and answers video section and understand what is mean by rest in short, REST is an architectural style which says use the existing features of the web in more efficient and simpler way. If you are curious about this feature and want to learn them or, or want to know about them, then those are HTTP verbs like get, post, delete and put. In the world of HTTP, every resource and functionality is identified by a unique URI. And it's not always required that you should pass XML for communication, you can pass JSON or something else also. And REST says use these features and create service. And services which are created using this architectural style are called HTTP REST services. And Microsoft's implementation of HTTP REST services is called WCF REST services. But there is a problem with this WCF REST services. If you want to create a Re HTTP REST service using WCF, then it's required lots of configuration, which is a bit complicated. The main intention behind WCF was to support service oriented architecture, not to support REST. So Microsoft was looking for Microsoft was looking for something simpler. And finally, it came up with a solution and it made the solution has a part of ASP.NET itself and called it ASP.NET Web API. So in simpler words, if you want to define ASP.NET Web API, then ASP.NET Web API is a part of ASP.NET technology for creating HTTP REST services. So here we complete our theory about ASP.NET Web API. We answered the question, what is ASP.NET Web API and why ASP.NET Web API is there. In the coming up video, we will make a practical demonstration and try to understand how we can create web APIs using Visual Studio. Thank you.